tens of impoverished families around the globe cook their meals over wood, animal waste, charcoal and kerosene. The exposure to these household air pollutants can be deadly, as they breathe in smoke and soot for many hours every day. Statistics show that tragically this indoor air pollution reportedly kills 1,250 children under age of 5 daily. Additionally, these struggling families have to rely on expensive and unsustainable fossil fuels. However, Mother Nature and some kind-hearted folks have stepped in to help. Solar Cookers International, the world's leading advocate and resource for solar cooking solutions, has developed Solar Cookers, an eco-friendly and renewable solution that is easy to assemble. Plus, they use affordable and accessible materials, such as tinfoil, cardboard, black pots and mirrors that further amplify the sun's energy. Solar Cookers International is helping people in over 135 countries, including India, Kenya, Sri Lanka, Uganda, Zimbabwe, etc. These are cost-effective and eliminate the need for polluting solid fuels. There are several variations of the solar cookers, which include the minimum solar box cooker, a simple box cooker that can be made in a few hours at a minimal cost. The materials that are needed are cardboard, aluminium foil and flat non-toxic black spray paint or one small jar of black tempera paint. When that isn't available, some resourceful people have creatively made their own paint out of soot mixed with wheat paste. There is also the cook kit, which is based on a design by French scientist Roger Bernard. While it's deceptively simple in its appearance, it's affordable, effective and convenient as well. All it needs is a few hours of sunshine and the cook kit can make delicious meals for 5-6 to six people. It cooks at lower to mid temperatures, so the food can cook while still preserving its nutrients without burning or drying out. Solar cooking has so many benefits for population in need and for the planet. Families can breathe cleaner air, money is saved for food and education, and trees and soil are spared. That's all for today, and if you enjoyed this video, please follow or subscribe for more videos like these. I'll see you again very very soon.